Hi, I am Bernd Kiltz and today I will show you reamping with the XFX2. So reamping, what is this? Reamping describes the process of recording your guitar with multiple tracks. One is the stereo track which comes from the XFX. It's like what you hear all the cables here on the main output and you are recording a direct signal. This is a signal that comes directly from the input, directly to the computer and the XFX can do that with just the USB interface that is built in. So when you open your recording program and you make the settings, make sure you choose as an output device and input device the XFX2. Then you have four input channels, which I show you here. You have here input 1, 2 and input 3, 4 if you have a stereo channel. And if you have a mono channel you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So over 1 and 2 it's the normal stereo signal and 3 and 4 is the direct signal which comes directly from the input. Okay. Back to the settings, there are two more things you have to consider. Software monitoring should be switched off all the time. And the I.O. buffer, or buffer in English, you should set to around 128. If you have a slow computer, maybe to 256 or even more. For what do we do reamping? We can stack our amps over each other, so I can maybe make a sound with a Marshall and then add a boogie and then mix them later. Or you can use it for sound programming. Just uh, play the part that you're playing in a song you want the sound for and then you can program the sound while not playing the guitar, which is much more convenient and better to do. So this is reamping. One more thing. To make the reamping work, you have to get the audio driver for the XFX2, which you probably already got. But I will show you. You have to go to g66.eu and then under support, fractal audio, then scroll down. And here is the audio driver for Mac OS X and for Windows. If you don't know how to install the driver and maybe you want, want to know a little more about the software stuff, check out my video for the firmware update which is on my YouTube channel and I explain everything there. Good. Now to the reamping stuff. I will now record the stereo 1 and 2, tracks 1 and 2 and I will record the direct signal for later use. Okay, now I have two tracks. Let's listen to the first track. This is just what the XFX outputs over the stereo output. And now let's listen to the direct track. Doesn't sound like much, but that's just what comes from the input and is brought directly to the computer for later use. And now I will show you what this is for. Make sure you have this uh, track to solo, so you can only hear this track, not the rhythm and not the stereo here, because everything that is now sent to the XFX will be processed. And we have to do a setting on the XFX. We go to I.O. And we have this parameter main input source. 
If you don't see this, you have to go to page 2 on the I.O. Page 2. You have main input source and you have to switch this to USB. USB. And now we play this track. And we can now change the sound. Maybe adjust the settings a little bit, a little less dry or something. And heights. Now I will record this to another track. So, if you now want to listen to this, you have to go back to I.O. and put the parameter back to analog. Because otherwise everything will be processed through the XFX amp section. And we don't want that. We just want to hear that it sounds like it is recorded. So, we switch this track from solo to mute. And now we hear the two stereo tracks. Just this one, and just this one. And you can hear it's perfectly in sync. You can of course do this many times. You can put 100 guitar tracks over each other and make it sound really fat. And you can adjust bass, treble, gain, add effects and stuff, do everything with it, just over the USB cable. Very simple way to do reamping. Okay, that wraps up today's tutorial over reamping. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below the video and I will try to answer all of them. So thank you, that was reamping, bye.